In this video, you're gonna learn how to do this kind of intro. Now, the rest of this video will be done in one take, which means you can follow with me in real time. I'm doing this for two reasons. One, I don't have a lot of time filming this. Two, it's actually super easy. So let's get started. First, we're gonna need the footage of something. In my case, I live in London, London Bridge, not my footage, but it doesn't matter. Then I'm gonna need some text. I can use a normal text. I can use text plus if I want a little bit more effect, like the, the letter going back and forth. But let's get you started with this. I'm gonna bring the text on top. I'm gonna replace this with London. Don't be afraid to go bold or black if you have it to make the letter thicker. It's gonna be better as a mask. And then don't be afraid of increasing the size. I'm gonna go all the way here, reduce the tracing just to bring the letter a little bit closer together. I've got what I want and now I'm gonna go back below my video. Now, this is where everything is critical because this is where the magic happens. This video is actually my foreground, so I'm gonna play with the composite mode. If you don't have it, it's gonna be in the inspector. So if you don't have it, right click here on inspector, on your video, composite. Again, if it's not displayed, just click on it. And here I'm gonna go from normal all the way to foreground. Now, nothing has changed, and I know it, it's on purpose so far, but as you say, this is the foreground. Now, I want that foreground to be applying a mask, so now I'm gonna select my text, I'm gonna do exactly the same thing, but this time into settings, rather than in the title, so again, inspector, video, settings, composites, and now I'm gonna go from foreground, or normal as it was, I'm not gonna go with foreground, I'm gonna go with alpha. And now, there we got it. My text is being displayed, absolutely no problem. If I wanted to do the opposite, if I want everything but my text, I would use an inverted alpha. That is pretty much the same thing as the title. You would say, yes, but no. Why not? Because now I can do something a little bit funnier. I can go into my effect, here from the right effect. I can take a four color gradient. I can put that here and now look. My text can actually be colored. I can even play with it a little bit. I could say um, changing different colors, for example, or, or simply deciding to move it um, over time. So I can put a keyframe here, um, coming here and having, having it here, right? Quick and dirty, but now if I'm replaying this, you can see that my text is, well, animated, right? If I go quickly, we can indeed see that that color is shifting. Um, there we go, now we have it. Not exactly the most exciting things, but you can do it. In my intro example, I show you a couple of more complex examples, but there you have it. This is how you do it. Um, if you want to play around, don't be afraid of cutting it at different section um, and then going from alpha to inverted alpha. So back into settings, back into alpha. And now you have that uh, settings where you go in here and then it's gonna flick, right? That's how I've done it with New York. I've got that little flick. You can now play around. Don't forget to put the music, edit to the beat. You know what to do from here, but now you have it. How to use a title as a mask, use it for unadvanced features like the color grading, the color grading, like the color gradient. Play with other effects. If I want it rather than a gradient, I could use a paper effect. If I'm going into um, here, I can take paper. I can put it here, uh, I can even overwrite it, and now I've got that kind of texture um, element, uh, one way or the other. So if I wanted to have a, a London being displayed here, I could do it. There is really no limit to what you can do here. Uh, if I wanted a solid color, I could do that as well, right? Don't be shy of changing the color to uh, anything else. I like this blue, those kind of things. Um, but yeah, as I said, short and sweet. That's it for this week. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao, everyone. Oh, because YouTube, if you want to see another video right there, if you want to see uh, more of my channel, but there you go. Ciao.